ब्रॉड टू यू बाय गीतांजलि सलोन छन्नी हिम्मत जम्मू फॉलो रुचिका मेकओवर्स ऑन फेसबुक एंड इंस्टाग्राम फॉर बेस्ट ब्राइडल मेकअप इन टाउन हेलो व्यूअर्स यू आर वाचिंग जम्मू लिंक्स न्यूज़ आई एम अनर गुप्ता एंड वेलकम टू द डेली अपडेट्स ऑफ मिड डे न्यूज़ लेट्स बिगिन The Jammu and Kashmir administration on Sunday extended the coronavirus lockdown until June 8 and said the center's new guidelines on some relaxations require a fresh assessment of the spread of COVID-19 in the union territory. In an order, Chief Secretary and Chairperson State Executive Committee BVR Subramaniam said the guidelines or instructions issued on May 19th and 24th with regard to lockdown would continue till June 8. The novel coronavirus cases in Jammu and Kashmir rose to 2446 on Sunday after 105 more people tested positive for the infection. An IAS officer has also tested positive for the coronavirus disease following which several bureaucrats and doctors who attended a meeting with him on Saturday have gone into self quarantine. Out of the 105 new cases of the pandemic, 90 are from Kashmir and 15 from Jammu. Addressing the nation through the 65th edition of his monthly radio program Man Ki Baat on Sunday the prime minister said that people should stay vigilant and it is important to be even more careful now as a major part of our economy has opened up arthavyavastha ka ek bada hissa ab chal bada hai khul gaya hai aise mein hame aur zyada satark rehne ki avashyakta hai do gaj ki duri ka niyam ho मुंह पर मास्क लगाने की बात हो हो सके जो वहां तक घर में रहना हो ये सारी बातों का पालन उसमें जरा भी ढिलाई नहीं बरतनी चाहिए Union Minister Dr Jitendra Singh on Sunday said that the nationwide lockdown of over 8 weeks has trained the people of the country for the new norms in lifestyle and the need for practicing hygiene physical distancing in day to day life Singh the union minister for the PMO also said in a country as heterogeneous and populous as India if people could avoid overcrowding to the maximum extent possible this itself will be one of the most rewarding new norms in this time after the coronavirus crisis blows over All the terrorist camps and around 15 launch pads in Pakistan occupied Kashmir are full according to top army commander lieutenant general BS Raju who anticipates an increase in infiltration attempts from across the border this summer to replenish the diminishing terrorist cadre in Jammu and Kashmir In an interview lieutenant general Raju asserted that the back of terrorism have been virtually broken and that Pakistan is unable to digest that Kashmiris are experiencing peace and an improvised law and order situation Sikh bodies have demanded reservation for minority Sikh community in employment and other areas and also emphasized for creation of at least 5 Sikh constituencies in JNK after the new delimitation process in JNK In a joint press conference various Sikh bodies from the UT expressed their concern over the neglect of Sikh community for reservation as minority community They said that now the delimitation process has further cautioned them about proper representation of the community in JNK assembly. Modi ji se aur jo commission bana hai usko request karunga ki hamari kam se kam 5 6 seater reserve ki jaye jiski jo ke rafuq ji wahan se aaye hain taake un rafujiyon ko apni representation mil sake un Music composer director and singer Wajid Khan died at the age of 42 late in the wee hours of Monday morning. He was tested positive for the novel coronavirus a few days ago and was suffering from COVID-19. Wajid Khan of the famous Sajid Wajid music composer duo was also suffering from kidney ailments and had undergone a kidney transplant a few months ago. On day 7 of resumption of operation of domestic flights in the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir 16 flights with 1695 passengers on board today arrived at Jammu and Srinagar airports 
A total of 341 passengers on board, six regular commercial flights arrived at the Jammu airport, while 10 flights including two Air India international flights with about 1,354 passengers on board landed at Srinagar airport on Sunday. After arrival, all the passengers were tested for the COVID-19 virus and transported to their destinations at both the airports amid strict observance of all the necessary preventive protocols. An online cultural event under Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat was organized by the Directorate of School Education Jammu, wherein students from Tamil Nadu and Jammu participated while staying at home using internet. The program was organized by the EBSB cell of the Directorate of School Education Jammu. In the prevailing situation, an attempt has been made by Directorate to engage students in some goal-oriented recreational activities and to carry forward the EBSB program, an outstanding initiative of government government of India amid lockdown. The Jammu and Kashmir government has evacuated about 102,972 JNK residents stranded in other parts of the country due to COVID lockdown, while Lakhanpur and through special trains and buses till date amid strict observance of all necessary guidelines and standard operating procedures. As per the official data received in this regard, the administrations of Jammu and Kashmir district have received 38 COVID special trains at Jammu and Udhampur railway stations from different states and UTs so far, with about 30,383 stranded passengers, while about 72,589 persons have been evacuated by the government through Lakhanpur till date. The Doda District Administration on Sunday launched an initiative to test vegetable or fruit vendors and wholesalers for COVID-19. The vendors were notified about the initiative and a total of 51 people reached the sample collection centre in the Doda during the early hours on Sunday. Authorities said that being a green zone, shops are allowed to be opened for a specific time, but with the opening of shops and increase of the flow of goods transported from Jammu, it was necessary to keep a check that coronavirus doesn't spread through the goods. India's COVID-19 tally on Monday witnessed its highest ever spike of 8,392 cases, while 230 more deaths related to the infection were also reported in the last 24 hours, according to the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The total number of coronavirus cases in the country now stands at 1,90,535, including 93,322 active cases, 91,819 are cured or discharged or migrated, and 5,394 deaths. Three heavily armed Pakistan-trained terrorists have been killed along line of control in Noshera sector in an ongoing counter-infiltration operation. In an ongoing counter-infiltration operation since 28th May, alert troops of Indian Army eliminated an infiltration bid along the line of control in Noshera sector. Three heavily armed Pakistan-trained terrorists have been killed. Search operation in the area is still in progress, the Indian Army said. India on Sunday declared two officials of the Pakistan High Commission as persona non grata on charges of spionage and ordered them to leave the country within 24 hours, the Ministry of External Affairs said. The two officials, Abid Hussain and Mohammad Tahir, were caught by police while obtaining sensitive documents relating to Indian security establishment from an Indian national in exchange of money. The officials working at the visa section of the Pakistan High Commission confessed during the interrogation that they worked for Pakistani spy agency ISI.